welcome back everybody and welcome if you are new today we're in the arca opener for the season we got las vegas on the schedule to start with we're out here car 18 out of what like 23 or something like that it looks like uh we got gavin out here both gavin's out here we got larry pace justin Yi, highland uh we got jeremy out here like a lot of people we know it's just like old times when we used to do this opener so going back to that this for this season because the gen 4 was such a late race for me like i wouldn't finish until like 10 or so and then i started editing and everything for the night it just ended up getting so late so going back to arca for this season for the opener hopefully we could do all right because uh these are a lot faster people than we were running in the gen 4 most of the time but this is going to be a second lap uh qualifying time pretty much you can't get too much speed coming to the line here second lap you'll have a lot more speed so gonna try to take it easy here turn one and everything and then set it up uh top and three and four fast i've gotten to is like a 31 one like a low one so hopefully we if i, if I can if we can i cannot speak <laughs> if we could run that i'll be happy if we can run into zeros that'd be awesome but need to focus try to hit the top here well and not get loose Got to take it easy, but need to get on full throttle. That was a very good setup corner. I'm not going to cut low because it seems to kill your time on the exit. And I run a little high. I don't run all the way down the white line because I get looser down there. Which I'm still getting loose up here. That's going to hurt our time. Not great. Not a great turn one there. Hopefully we can make up a little bit in three and four. Try to get it straight out to the wall so we don't get loose. And I'll cut down here for the front stretch. What do we get? We got a 211. Okay, not awful, but we're going to be slow compared to the guys in the up front. So it's going to be like old times running in the back of the Arco trying to fight for our lives back there with Gavin, most likely. So, uh, oh yeah, we do have a new paint on all the cars for this season and stuff, which let's show off the Arca car real quick. Went with like a purple, black and white. I like it a lot. Getting this camera is going to be a pain in the ass right now. Oh, I'm under the track. <laughs> I just want to look at the paint. That's it. But we got like a purple and a black and white scheme. I like it a lot. And I have some lightning on the back of our car. I did that for the Gen 4 as well, but our Gen 4 is all white. So it should be interesting. Got uh, University of Louisville on the back of the car because uh, my girlfriend's moving up to Kentucky for uh, Louisville in the summer, like next month for dental school so that will be cool for her but car looks good i like it a lot but uh we are going to be towards the back did we out oh the gavin out qualified us that's the fastest time he's ran he's up there with zanetti or jeremy Get in here. whichever one you want to say but we got a minute and a half left of qualifying so i'll bring you guys back get ready to take the green all right we're getting ready to roll here we qualified back in 19th. Larry got an 814 and said it wasn't a very good lap, but he killed everybody in the qualifying time. Great time by him. But Gavin and I gained so much I rated last year between the Gen 4s and Arca just for us to come back. Uh, the to... inevitable Caleb Selfson will be sponsored by the Missouri University of Science and Technology uh, today. But uh, thanks. We, uh, we're coming back to Arca first split just to lose it all back again. <laughs> we're going to be running Gen 4 still, but later in the week. Not sure what day and stuff. We might run it different days. Uh, might not be able to run it with each other, unfortunately, but uh, still going to have fun with that. The Gen 4s are so fun. I love them, but going back to Arca first split, a lot better drivers running it than when Gavin and I were running it on Tuesdays, and uh, we're going to have to relearn things, not really relearn, but like step up our pace some more, so hopefully we don't get destroyed here early, get through this 35 laps clean and see what we can do. I am. Our goal is to beat that gold car there on the outside is uh, Gavin up there. He didn't change his paint for Arca because he loves his paint scheme on Arca, but he changed the rest of them, I believe. So if you want to check out his other paint schemes for his other series, go check out his channel, Gavin Ropchan. I know Zanetti's in here. That is uh, Jeremy up there. That's, I think, qualified right in front of Gavin, like one spot in front of him. And we're rolling. Didn't really need to do a first gear start because we're so far back. No need to really jump it, even though 
Some guys back here kind of are. Some guys behind me are taking it easy. And we're already somewhat three wide. Yep, that zero car is taking it three wide. But we're going to try to save our right front the best we can. With this being like a full throttle, not full throttle, but very heavy throttle track. Uh, killing your right front is very easy to do. Especially in the draft. It might make you a little tighter. So we're going to try to take it easy on the right front. Make some passes when we can. The higher line may come in useful to pass people later on. But we'll see. But you really don't need to get on the brakes or let off this much, guys. Try not to run over the Coke Zero car. We're getting loose there because we let off so much and then trying to get back on throttle, we were tight. But you want to get that like sweeping edge in. Actually, might just be able to make passes on the outside now, it seems. Well, it's early, maybe. But I don't want to kill my right front, but we kind of need to try to work our way through the field some. Everybody's running a little high, not right on that white line. Because way down there just seems like so loose to me. But you kind of want to be a little loose on the right rear. Definitely want to be leaning on that right rear in these things as much as you can. But Gavin's in a battle up there, it looks like. He's in a gaggle of cars. The top, like, five have pulled away from everybody, it seems. And then it's just a big train back to us. But we're doing the best we can right now. Trying not to get too sideways. Trying not to lose too much ground either. Because that wasn't a great corner. Got Adam behind us, which I think is the lowest car number, 24. I thought there was only 23, but I think there's 24 in here. But everybody in this top split's good, so. Doesn't really matter what number you are. Anybody could win here, honestly. The higher numbers are probably going to be more up front. But the... Lower numbers are still very, very quick here. Probably need to let off a little bit earlier going into these corners now. I feel like I'm pushing tight early. And it's killing my speed through the corner. Adam wants to get on our inside. Give him the bottom there. Might be able to hold him off, honestly. We'll see. Don't necessarily want to be running this outside side by side with somebody, but the inside line definitely going to kill their tires more trying to pass. People are running way up top, which is very interesting. I don't know how much grip is up there for your right front. You get such a run on the outside, though, down the straightaways. He's really diving it in. Probably going to clear us there. Nope, we're going to stay on his right rear. Fighting hard back here for 22nd. <laughs> but that's top split for you. These guys are so good. And Zanetti's right in front of us. On the bottom there, he's that yellow car. Gavin's washing up there. He's not too far ahead. He's stuck on the bottom as well. Trying to pass you. One guy's up in the wall. He's coming down. Oh god, he's going up. They might hook. Nope, they're fine. I still had everybody unmuted. Okay. Wasn't sure. I thought the 15 and 24 were going to hook there. It got very sketchy for a second. 15's in the wall again, it sounded like. So I, I let off a decent bit coming off the four because I thought the 24 and 15 were going to wreck there, but they did not. Very close, but somebody's up in the wall once again. The Jimmy Johnson car. That is Juan. That's not good for Juan. Outside, outside. He started behind us, worked his way really far up, and uh, just got stuck on the wall one corner. Fifteen is flying on back up. We'll leave that lane on the bottom because he was diving it in there. Clear. Able to hold him off on that outside there, that corner. Trying to do the best we can with our right front here. Don't think we're doing a great job, though. We haven't. I feel like I have not ran an oval race in so long, though. It has been quite some time since the update. I've just been running dirt last week. I haven't really touched the oval cars in quite some time now. 
15 starting to run that outside. That's probably how he got a massive run on us before. Running higher than us. That felt like a pretty good corner there. Let off enough, got to the bottom, able to hook right on that white line. Not really losing these guys in front of us at all, just staying right with them. Wonder if like a light brake trail, like trail brake is useful or not to get the car rotated a little bit maybe. But yeah, Jeremy's been running the hell out of Arca last season. He gained a ton of I rating last season running these a lot. He's very good at them. So the fact that he's just barely in front of us, I'm happy with. We have a bad angle into this corner with the 15 on our outside. And we're really tight. That definitely hurt the right front a good bit. Try to trail break a little bit on entry still feel really tight please don't tap me these cars still cannot take a bump and i heard that they're even more sensitive on the front end when you tap the front end at all you're pretty much gonna kill your motor you're gonna have a meatball flag but it's definitely been a while since we ran some oval and it's showing But also, we haven't ran the open Arca, like first race of the, of the week and stuff, in so long. But we're still going to try to have our points battle with Gavin all season, see if we can. Hopefully, we end up in the same lobby a bunch, like we did last year. He beat me by six points last season in Arca, and I beat him by like 12 or something on the Gen 4s. Yeah, the outside's definitely a little quicker. Still outside. Try not to get too much on throttle and drift up. Clear, clear, clear. Everybody's running so close to each other, though, and nobody's wrecked, but that's top split. Like, wherever you qualify, you're going to struggle to gain spots. Unless you really mess up your qualifying, you're much quicker. 15 car is falling back really hard right now. Oh, Zanetti is blocking Juan down there. I think he's talking to him in a voice call or something now. In uh, Justin's Arca Farmer Discord, I want to say. Because I think Zanetti usually goes in there with a handful of people that are racing this also. Dang, we're only 16 laps in. It does not feel like it. That's crazy that we're only 16 laps in. If the 15 car really blew out his tires that quick and he's falling back, that'd be nuts. There's still a lot of people very close in front of us too, which is nuts. Absolutely crazy how tight we're all running. Copenhagen car is a little slow on the bottom because you get pinched down there, it's definitely easy to lose your momentum. Try not to send it off too hard on the outside. Trying to lean on the right rear, but it's not really getting loose at all. We'll get the run down the back stretch though here. Seems like Adam wants to hold that bottom. Got a little loose there because we were right on the seam, so that worked out pretty well. And we clear him. Ran him pretty tight, but made him uh, lift a little bit because we were right on his outside. Oh, spin? No, he saved it. Good save. Very good save there. We came back down into traffic. That's going to be crazy. I don't know where this guy on my outside is going. I'm leaving, it. I'm leaving the lane for him. I think he went to his outside. That guy was in ninth. I hit the apron there, though, so that lost me a ton of time. Really bad angle into it, but we just kind of got stuck there. He wants to go back to our inside. That is completely fine. He was faster than us, so I'll let him try to get in through that bottom because we've been working the outside better when we're next to somebody. Probably killing the right front, though. 
This race seems so long, but it's really not. It's just we haven't done it in so long. And I think I was pushing it too hard early, killing the right front, and it's going to show later in this run, I think. I don't really know where I want to go. These guys are like three wide. There's nowhere to go. We'll see where the 20 goes. He's going to end up going bottom. 23 is way up top, but I feel like he's kind of slow. Might just follow the 20 car through the middle because I don't really want to be on the bottom. There's just nowhere to go. These guys are just three wide. I feel like we're faster than the 23. He just keeps getting the run down the straightaways. Oh, he's, get, he's pushing him down the track. Oh, they didn't hook though. That was very close. The 20 and 17. We're gonna take this third lane. 20 car got by the 17 there. We're gonna get by the 17 as well. This 23 loves the very outside. Not gonna be able to go all the way up to the wall though there. Didn't necessarily want to be there. I wanted to try to shoot that middle gap. Try to take it easy on the bottom, roll it, and then get on throttle. That seemed to have worked all right, and we're going to get shot down to the bottom. Cool. So we're going to be in the middle three wide. That's fun. Love to see that. It didn't work out for the 17 before, but he wanted to go back there. And we got a really good run. We might clear both of them, honestly. We do. Nice. That was beautiful. Oh, Gavin's loose down the front stretch. Oh, they're wrecking behind me. That was like a two, three car wreck behind me. Oh, somebody's wrecking up here. Somebody's up on the inside. Don't come back up the track. Yeah, nope, he's good. Me. Oh, no, it's Lemons. What happened to him? That's Griffin2448 on YouTube. I want to see his point of view on what happened. Or we'll see it in the uh, replay, too, at the end. So that puts us up to 18th now, I think. So we're one spot better than where we uh, qualified at currently. That's crazy. We're 24 laps in out of 25. Trying to use this seam to get the car to rotate a little bit. Honestly, uh, getting on the brakes a little bit on entry might get the car to set a little bit better. Yeah, that seems to work a little bit better. So I need to do that. I just need to not do it too much. Leader did a 32.7. What are we doing? That was a 32.871. So we're like a tenth and a half, two tenths off. Right there. Lemons looks like he had to get his fast repair. That's super unfortunate to see. Hate to see that. But they were wrecking right behind us. And then that happened off turn two. Really not sure what happened up there. Because we were too far back and couldn't see it. But yeah, the slight brake drag on entry feels a little faster. We'll kind of see what this time, if it was or not. Because that felt like a good lap. Nope, that was like a tenth slower. Maybe I drug it a little bit too much. Or a little too hard, I should say. That time I barely drug it, but then really got back on throttle. I don't know what I want to do, man. Being back in top split arc is tough. Doing the best we can. We're not that far behind Zanetti, though. He's only three spots in front of us, which is not that bad. And I'm happy with that, with how fast I know he is in Arca. And I know he's going to be running this a lot this week. This will probably be our one and only race. Might run it again if I feel like it, if I have time over the weekend or something. But I think I might be grinding out some time attacks and stuff. Start the season. Try to learn some dirt. Got a good run there on Bo. That was nice. Shane down on the bottom. Still there your door. Bo gave it to us. All right, cool. Up to 17. I was thinking if I can get a top 15, I'd be really happy with it today. Be very happy with that. They're side by side behind us. The 12 car trying to work his way back up after nearly spinning earlier. Zanetti let him by. Oh, we're sideways. That was the first time I've been really, really loose there. He's going to shoot to our outside. I'll leave the lane. Oh, they're about to wreck in front of us. 
Zanetti gave him the spot in the corner and the guy wanted to block him down the front stretch or the back stretch, sorry. He wanted to block him for the spot on the back stretch, even though he gave him the spot in the corner. Yeah, 12 car is definitely a little quicker than us, it seems. Trying to do the slightest trail braking to get the car down to the bottom settled. Man, if I could beat Jeremy, I'd be happy with that because he is shot up in I rating last season. Oh, Gavin, dead. Oh no, he's coming back down. Oh geez, he got right hooked straight into the wall. What happened there? That, that was violent. That was straight just driver door to the fence. They are three wide in front of us as well with the guys that just uh, spun with uh, spun out Gavin and stuff. I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know if somebody came down. They were three wide all of a sudden. Jeremy's scraping the wall. I feel like that slight brake drag is fast. There's been a lot more wrecks than I expected in this thing. There are some behind me. We just saw that. Oh, I love the new spotter stuff, like telling us, oh, you're pulling away from the guy uh, behind you, or the leader just did this, second place just ran the fastest lap, stuff like that. Like, the, those little tidbits of information are really nice. I love the new spotter stuff. Oh, somebody's sideways. Oh, Zanetti. I think he got tapped by that blue car. We might just get a top 15 out of attrition. I don't want to go three wide though because these got it's been scary around this 19. I don't know what's been going on. If he's been causing it or somebody else has, but it seems like he got into the back of Zanetti there on the entry of the corner. And it got him in the wall, unfortunately. He's gonna get the run down the back stretch, which is fine. Jesus, man. Trying to stay right Jesus. on his bumper, but getting a good run. I had to stay in the throttle there out of the last time. Might be able to get by this 19 and this 13. Please don't bump me. You can cross me, though. Okay, I kind of want to be here. He's really side drafting us. Oh, he is sending it in the corner. He's washing up some. Our car stopped him from washing up, though, so it's fine. We got the pass cleared. I think we're in 15th now. Damn. We might be able to get up to 14th if we can uh, pass the 13. Oh, we drove into that corner hard. Had to get on the brakes a little harder than normal. But we seem a little faster than the 13 car here. Late in this race, we have some speed, baby. Try to hold the bottom. He's holding us tight down here. I'm drifting up. We're fine. Oh, white flag here. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. Don't hit me. He's going to get a run down the back, though, for sure. We'll see if he tries too hard, though, and gets the wall or anything. Come on, can we get can we get him by the line? I'm gonna really drive it in hard there. He's gonna hold us down tight. Good win, Larry. Full throttle. Come on, can we get him at the line? Uh, good win, Larry. Good race. I think we're going to. Hell yeah, we got 14th. I'll take that. What a race the line. That was awesome. I don't know how we worked our way up there at the end. I need to see our tire wear. That was nuts. And I think Gavin just didn't finish the race after that, did he? He finished a lap down, so he did finish it, but I probably had to go get his fast repair and everything. That's super unfortunate to see. Same with Jeremy. He got kind of like hooked on the left rear into the wall. But damn, we beat the 13 just barely at the line. Just barely. This camera is not the best. It's a little low. There we go. But just, just so you know, wait, you're ready. Oh, he had, he had like, a lot. Oh, yeah, what was our tires? Uh, 4161. So like, so that's why that happened. I mean, you hit the wall before we even touched. My right like, front was dead. <laughs> <laughs>
my right front was absolutely destroyed. Larry, uh, who did he win it? Yeah, Larry won it was 50-59. So you have to keep your tires very balanced like that. That's what you want. But my right front, I absolutely destroyed. That was awful. But hell, we beat the 13 car here. Barely to the line. It looks like he had some nose damage. That's the that's the new nose damage model that I was uh talking about. Jeremy saying the 19 drove through him. Yeah. That, that did happen. I saw that, but we were able to hold him off there. I want to see that last corner because we really sent it very hard there and uh, was able to kind of push up a little bit, but he was probably going full throttle as well, so we never got into him. I kind of held him high a little on the straightaway until he started coming down, then I shot to the bottom to try to hold that off and barely beat him to line, so that was awesome. Very happy about that. We were able to get 14th. We might gain some eye rating out of that, honestly, finishing 14th, which is awesome, and... Uh, a lot of people up front did not change places. Justin went from 6th to 4th. Good run by him. But both Gavins finished back-to-back. -back, 21st, 22nd. That is unfortunate to see. We need to go back, see what happened. It was a really, really clean race for a long period of time, it seemed like. Until, like, the last half, when the tires really started going away. People really started getting in the wall and getting into each other. The zero car, some net code, but the zero car definitely just overdrove the corner on entry and ran straight into his left rear. He ran a little too high for a car being on his outside. He was trying to get under, but good save nonetheless. I think the 23 got the wall here, I want to say. This is when we went three wide by them. No, no wall. Everything was clean. Okay, don't know why that was happening. 19, very close to, I want to say that's Scott up there. Oh, that's why Gavin got loose. The 19 either got loose or he was trying to come down and it tapped Gavin's front end just a little bit. But we need to see what happened to him. Oh, yeah, this is the wreck behind me. They were still barely three wide. The 17 squeezed up into the 12 just barely, but 12 had a little bit of room to his high side. So 17 was trying to get like a little bit of an arc in. It's, uh, that's a lot of a racing deal, it seems, but just three, ride, three wide racing. 15 ended up in it as well. What happened here? Did he just get loose? Oh, no, he got hit by the 13. Gavin uh, Lemons, Griffin 224, you can see on the back there, making a move on the 13, sliding up. That's just, uh, that's unfortunate because it's the Arca car. If it was like any other car, you tap there and it, it's really fine. But you, as soon as it taps the back, it lifts up the rear wheels and there was no saving it for him. So that's just super tight racing and uh, the 13 not lifting for the 11, trying to hold it on the outside, but really destroyed the right front and the front end for him. Probably got a meatball flag from the front end hitting, honestly because of the new damage model. Seems like there's going to be some incidents like that where it's just through the corner for no reason. Gavin's working the inside of the 19 there. Love to see it. Don't love to see what we're going to see later on, though. I want. I just want to see how he got hooked. Some people are, yeah, they're driving through the corner and don't know why. Maybe the bottom, it's like bottoming out or something, but they're not hitting anything. Justin up here with Michael, the three car. This is for a third, fourth really tight on each other but keeping it super clean and this is where he got hooked the 13 car oh he just comes down and hooks him a little bit of net code but the 13 was inching his way down closer and closer and closer all at the whole time and he was going to slowly come down but that's a little bit of net code very unfortunate but what a violent wreck this was straight just doored to the wall and you just absolutely murdered his left front tire. Was he able to drive after that? Oh, yeah, he came right back down the track, too. He was full on brakes right there at uh, pit road entry. He just went straight into the pits there. Did it hurt his uh, left front a lot? It looks like it did. The whole front end is all messed up. But you do have one fast repair in this series. So you could uh, take advantage of that. Unfortunately, they finished a lap down because there are no cautions. 20 cars all by himself. Was there anything else that happened? I'm not 100% sure. I know. Oh, that was big. That was super tight. Scott kind of made the Lowe's car. I think that's one. Is it one? Yeah, that's one. And 11th on uh, 10th place, Scott makes a move to the inside. Scott tries to block last second. Good save by both of them. By one letting up a little bit. Scott saved the car. 19 car oh yeah he just got into that's this is a netty this is jeremy just got left reared just uh right front into his left rear and there's just no saving these cars that's super unfortunate killed his right front and his whole right side not really able to turn after that moment these guys are doing fine eight car washing up a little bit this is second third right yeah this is second and third battling hard nothing's happening back here jordan right behind uh justin for fifth sixth place right now running super tight they're all three right on top of each other right there 
17 yeah nothing's going on there's a weird incident thing going through the corner but seems like that was it for everybody justin and them get around the three car did the three car just blow the corner or they just slowly got under them it seems like oh yeah going into the final lap these two got a massive run justin got a massive run dove to the inside able to get to the inside of the three car and takes jordan with them they both get by him on the last lap so he goes from fourth to six unfortunately justin ran a little high but it seems like that was a quick line there able to hold him up and then three car had to lift a little bit there on exit jordan's gonna be able to take advantage of that as well and go and get that fifth spot so good run by them and then we were battling with the 13 which the 13 got in a few incidents there so i'm happy we beat him to the line got 14th we were car 18 out of a 24 car field we might gain some high rating honestly we in car 18 so let's go see what we end up getting out of the results uh really decent first uh, arca opener back for us i'm happy about that all right results are in we had a 4200 strength of field we're at 499 safety again that's awesome i have not seen that on dirt or oval in a long time but very happy to see that we had a zero x race gained eight i rating i will take that still over 3500 awesome to see uh, that's where we're starting out the season about 3500 that'd be awesome if we can try to get the four but man these guys are so damn fast up here like larry 79 almost 8k on oval that is nuts justin a little bit over 7k absolutely crazy but everybody's so damn fast. I know both Gavins took a big hit. Loss of 69 for Lemons. That's super unfortunate. See, not what you like to see on the negative side. But uh, we were able to gain 8 I rain. The 13 car lost 16 because we beat him to the line just barely. He would have lost just a little bit less. And we might have just gained like one or two, honestly. So happy about that. We are able to gain some. Need to uh, work on our tire saving some more because uh, we absolutely destroyed our tires in that race. Our right front was the lowest I saw out of anybody else, I think. And our right rear was a lot better than some other people. So that's unfortunate as well because you want to try to balance those tires out the best you can. Keep the car a little bit sideways with the wheels more straight and uh, just keep it like that throughout the corner. But it's very difficult to do that. The guys up front have mastered that. And that's why they're up there and they have that high of I rating. So and that's why Gavin and I, we're running back here and then we end up in a wreck or something, which is super unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate for Jeremy. Both Gavins ended up in a wreck. The 17 of Shane getting hooked on that. He was the 17. Okay. He got hooked on that uh, turn one, I think, when they were three wide, just racing so hard. So very unfortunate for them back there. I'm happy with how we finished, though. We got 14th. What were the champ points like? We still got 109. Okay, that's not bad for getting 14th. It was top split. That's probably why. Up front, 250. You can see the difference in that. That's absolutely crazy. Like, what's second split winning getting you? Because uh, this is around, like, the strength of field we would be running normally. That's, like, 150. So, and we normally were finishing around here anyways. So, not bad at all. 109 to start out the season. At least it's uh, triple digits to... Uh, Pay attention to that and uh, try to beat out Gavin Ropchan down here, who only got a measly 21. Probably going to be one of his drop weeks, honestly. So we'll see if we can hold him off for the season this time. But appreciate you guys for watching. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. And uh, if you want to try to join some of our races, uh, just like friend request me. I will add you. I, I accept everybody. So if you want to like stalk us and see where uh, I'm going to be racing at, and you can try to join up in my races. If you're in the same lobby as me, say what's up. I'll, I'll message you back and everything. So Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the race and I'll catch you guys in the next one.